Hello and welcome to Megawatt News, I'm Katie Scott. In the headlines today, 3G iPhone mayhem crashes the O2 site, LG's launch day, something for everyone, Packard Bell preps a gaming PC, Facebookers are unable to form lasting relationships, says the latest research, and how it cost one British holidaymaker 31,500 quid just to download Prison Break. O2's online shop crashed this morning as thousands tried to pre-order an iPhone 3G ahead of the phone's arrival in the UK on Friday. A spokesperson told us that the company is trying to sort out the problems ASAP and still recommends that iPhone fans get online and pre-order to avoid disappointment on the 11th. He said customers who are unable to place an order online can still go into the store from 8.02 a.m. on the 11th of July, although we urge people to get down there early as demand is expected to be very high. Meanwhile, the Carphone warehouse has also started taking orders, but only while stocks last. But those who order online will get their iPhone 3G delivered on the 11th. The retailer has also revealed that the iPhone 3G will be available on as a pay as you go deal in time for the Christmas period, with pricing details confirmed closer to the time, while o 2 site says simply that pay and go tariffs will be available later on this year. LG had a day of launches on Friday. Following on from the unveiling of the Scarlet TV, the company has now launched a home cinema system to match the HT953 TV. Also unveiled was a rugby ball shaped speaker, two home cinema systems designed by high-end audio guru Mark Levinson, three portable DVD players including one that doubles as a digi picture frame and Freeview HDD DVD recorders. All of the details, specs and pictures are on Pocket Lint right now. Packard Bell has unveiled its new gaming machine, the iPower X 2.0, at the Electronic Sports World Cup in Paris. The second gen machine is said to be aimed at mass gaming market and will hit stores for prices between €999 and €1,799. A wonder of black high gloss and red LEDs, the machine boasts three 120mm fans with intelligent power management to generate optimal airflow and an Acetec liquid cooling system so your machine doesn't overheat when the gaming gets a bit frenetic. Gamers can also modify their PC quickly thanks to a toolless entry. The iPower X 2.0 can be opened at the turn of a handle and locked using a special key. All of the components can be changed easily and there's space for extra hard drives, cards and additional drives. On a basic level, gamers can choose between top GPUs including the GeForce 9800GX2 or the ATI Radeon HD4870 or decide between the Intel Core 2 Quad or Intel Core 2 Extreme processors and pick a storage capacity of between 500 gigabytes or 3 terabytes. The iPower X 2.0 will be available across Europe around Christmas time this year, which Packard Bell hinted may also see the launch of a gaming laptop. Check out PocketLint now for the full report from the Paris launch. An expert has warned that the Facebook generation is unable to form lasting relationships. Dr. Himashu Tiagi, a psychiatrist at the West London Mental Health Trust, says that people who visit social networking websites have got used to the idea that relationships can be formed and destroyed quickly and easily. He said it's a world where everything moves fast and changes all the time, where relationships are quickly disposed at the click of a mouse, where you can delete your profile if you don't like it and swap an unacceptable identity in the blink of an eye for one that's more acceptable. People used to the quick pace of online social networking may soon find the real world boring and unstimulating, potentially leading to more extreme behaviour to get that sense. Tiagi also warned that people who socialise online all of the time will sometimes find their real world self affected as they forget the physical clues involved with communication, including body language, tone of voice and facial expression. So basically, we're all socially inept. The authorities are promising to bring down roaming charges for European travellers, but one company it appears hasn't got the memo. Yes, Telecom has slapped a 31,500 quid bill on a Brit who used the broadband connection on his mobile whilst away from home. 
Ian Dobson, a 34-year-old IT worker from Salford, returned home from holiday in Portugal to find a monumental bill. He claims he only used his phone to download Sky's Prison Break and a number of songs, so was a tad shocked to read how much money his phone provider wanted. The figures look like they come down from the moon, said the unsuspecting Dobson. I just laughed, there had to be some mistake. He has had to get a lawyer involved though to fight the fee and his solicitor, Danielle Mestron, has managed to get the bill down by just 31,271 quid. Those were today's hottest headlines. Join us again tomorrow for more news and views from the world of gadgets and technology. Thanks for watching.